Grace and peace to you from God, our Creator, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. 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 Thursday morning, I was out shopping at Walmart, <laughs> <laughs> buying some odds and ends for our household and for church. There was nothing spectacular about that trip until I walked by the toy department. Two kids, about three or four years of age, were in a cart being pushed by a mom, looking at all the toys. Pretty normal behavior, correct? One of the kids yelps out, Mommy, I need that! Pointing to a big yellow truck. And again he yelled, Mommy, I need that! And, her, and his mother, responded in a very gentle and kind manner. Well, maybe some other time we can get you a truck. No! You need to give that to me now! Really? She responded. Yes, give me that truck! I want a truck! And he stands up. I want a truck! And his sibling jumps up too. I want a truck! I want a truck! And she the mom, obviously, was a little bit stressed out. She says, stop! But back and forth. I want a truck. Stop it. I want a truck. No, I want a truck. Stop it. Yelling back and forth. And tears come. Yelling comes. Having commotion all around in the toy department in Walmart. Until they suddenly stopped when they looked at a goateed pastor looking fella <laughs> transfigured or transfixed on their argument and the mother said oh I'm, I'm really so sorry no worries I replied I have kids myself so I get it and we both smiled and we went our separate ways and wouldn't you guess it not only about five minutes or five feet away, excuse me, the child whispers to his mother, So, am I getting the truck? <laughs> that word, give, G I D, has always been an intriguing word in our language. In one moment, it has well, references to generosity, and in the very next, it can mean selfish connotations. But I want you to ask yourself this. What does giving mean to you? But I also want you to ask this question, too. Does our giving apply to the same way that we give to God? Now, some of you, I'm sure, are saying, oh, great, here's a sermon about money and my giving habits. All Pastor Scott is going to do is going to make me feel guilty and horrible. On the contrary. Giving to God is so much more than money. Let me say that again. Giving to God is so much more than money. So let me show you how. In our gospel for today, we see Jesus sitting down opposite of the treasury, noticing the giving habits of the crowd. Some of the crowd are giving of their funds, similar to how we respond at a restaurant when we tip our waiters and waitresses for good service. And then we see a widow who gave everything she had, all that she had to live on. And I want you to remember, God, or giving to God is so much more than money. And if that is the case, the widow was giving up everything, all that she considered valuable and viable means that gave her life. So when it comes to giving, our living, we have defined it by three categories. We define it as our time, our talent, and our treasure. As for me, a fourth category also needs to be added which is our prayer. Three T's and some prayer. With the four, life happens and true giving actually can take place. Let me show you what I mean. Patty, can I bug, bug you?
Those who are in TV land, I'll be showing this on the screen momentarily. And as you are getting one of those uh, sheets of paper, grab that golf pencil that's in the pew or a writing utensil if you would. So as we prepare, I would love to explore how we can give to God with all that we have, with no guilt, no pressure, just you responding to God and God's grace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So grab that pencil of yours or a writing utensil. And that first category that you'll see there is called time. Usually when we think of this, it includes long hours, sometimes burdensome work that often burns us out. So what if time is concerning? Now I want you to write this down. Your relationships with others. Let me say that again. So put that in the Times Square. Your relationships with others. So what if time is concerning your relationships with others? Yes, it could be your brothers and sisters in Christ at church. Yet... What if time is about those relationships that you long to be a part of, that bring your faith and life to wholeness? You have names of people that I am sure that you would love to spend more time with so that you both can feed off of God's grace. Here is an amazing way that you can actually spend time with God, with other people that you love. Here's an amazing way to give to God. Category two, write this down. Talent, under talent. Give of yourself to others. Give of yourself to others. Give of yourself to others. Now, this word talent is often used to refer uh, to overwhelming and flashing talents, such as throwing a football all the way down the field or dancing and the like. And in so doing, when we look at talents in this way, we exclude ourselves in discovering how God has made you something special with gifts that can make a difference not only for your life, but for others who are longing to see God's grace through some place and through someone who is safe, knowing, meaning you. Everyone has a talent. Everyone. It is through prayer, it is through conversation that you discover this. So give to God as you give of yourself to others and see how God is moving. Case in point. We have some nurses here who believe that nursing is such a viable part of people's lives that they will do anything to make sure that the health is, people's health, physical health, is a part of their well-being. Right, Marcy? Right, Marlene? Right, Patty? And then we have someone who is an incredible listener, who is in charge of our Footsteps with Christ ministry. One of her talents, Sharon's, is that she loves to listen. And she does an amazing job at doing so. There are nothing flashy about those particular talents. But they are beautiful talents nonetheless. Give to God as you give of yourself to others. The third category, your treasure. So write this, give of yourself to God. Under treasure, give of yourself to God. Give of yourself to God. When it comes to our treasures, most of us get pretty nervous, and there is no, there is no need to be so. 
I'm reminded of a story of Jesus where he exclaims, give to Caesar to what is Caesar's and give to God what is God. The irony of this statement that Jesus proclaims is that everything already belongs to God. Therefore, give not only your money to God, but also the treasures that you hold so dear. That includes your family, your friends. Give to God your work, your play, your retirement. Give to God your house, your pets, your thoughts, your dreams. Give it all to God. So God can be at the very heartbeat of why those treasures give you life in the first place. And finally, the fourth category, prayers. Write this. My relationship with God. My relationship with God. My relationship with God. Too often, we use prayer as an afterthought or at mealtime. Prayer ought to be as regular as tying your shoes, using a fork, or as breathing air. For in prayer, we encounter our God one-on-one. -on -one. In prayer, we can find peace in the midst of our daily chaos we call life. Give your life to prayer. Be intentional with your prayer life, and blessings will come forth. So giving to God is giving your life everything that you have to live on. It is more than money, more than anything that we can actually hold on to. It is everything laid down at Christ at the center. And I want you to look at this particular form again. I want you to notice that it makes a particular shape in the middle. What does it make again? Do you see that cross? That should be at the very core of who you are and what your faith is all about, is Christ. What I want you to do now is to uh, circle these words on your form. The words that say relationships and give. Relationship and give. And it kind of makes a really wonderful pattern that I wasn't expecting. If we read it from left to right, relationships give. And then in the bottom part it says, give to relationship. So the beginning and the end of everything, as far as our faith, is about giving to relationships out there out in, amongst ourselves, but also in that relationship that we have with our Lord and Savior. And so instead of screaming out, give me that truck! like we had with our kid in the middle of Walmart. <clears throat> Give me Jesus, Lord. Make my life worthy of God's glory. Amen. Amen. Amen.